Hey everyone, another one for me. Um, 200 Days did the Big Eye IPA yesterday, now I'm opening this one, which is another one that I got from the Great British Beer Festival. And it's a Firestone Walker Union Jack IPA. Um, I saw this on the beer list beforehand and thought, right, yep, got to get that one, got to bring that home. Um, so I didn't, here it is, I'm going to open it up. Um, I did write down the list of hops that are in it. I've got a terrible memory, so I thought I'd better write this down. Uh, right, beer, 72 IBU, 7.5%, so, you know, classic kind of big IPAs. Uh, hops with uh, Warrior, Simcoe, Cascade, Centennial, Amarillo and Chinook. So, fantastic. Um, let's just get it open, just get it open and get it drunk. That's, that's what I'm doing with this one, just straight up. Straight up, this is how it tastes. Um, so I did the, the uh, Ballast Point Big Eye IPA yesterday, the 100% Centennial Beast. Uh, and I also got a bottle of Dogfish Heads Midas Touch, so I'll do a little bit of video of that soon. And a couple of bottles of Italian beer, because um, you know Italian beer is, I think it's going to be huge. It, some of the stuff they're getting out of there is fantastic. A couple of the best beers I had at the festival were Italian. So, you know, really excited by those. One, I know one's an Imperial Stout with chilies in it, and another one's got some kind of stout, dark beer with some kind of grape concoction in there somewhere. I'm not entirely sure, but I'll, I'll find out when I get to drink it. Right, okay, nice kind of deep gold colour, fantastic. Not too much of a head. Oh, it's exactly the sort of nose I want. Just with like the big eye IPA yesterday, it's just all citrusy, all fruity, all juicy, and then you got like that Simcoe in there is bringing through all those pine flavours. You're getting the grapefruit from the Cascade. You're getting really fresh oranges from the Centennial. Oh, yeah, fantastic. Oh, what a nose. This, again, like I was saying yesterday, it's exactly the sort of beers that I want to be drinking in this country, but there's so few kind of seven odd percent IPAs being brewed with these kind of hops and this kind of juiciness. So. Oh, yes. Mm, again, similar to yesterday's. I would imagine the same sort of IBU, similar percentage yesterday, one seven percent, and then it's just got this big and it's fruity and it's juicy. It's oranges, there's pine, it's it's that cascade, that dryness at the back of the throat, the dryness that you get after you've eaten a grapefruit, that kind of that kind of tang. Um, it's kind of creamy and biscuity and sweet underneath. Mm. Yeah, great malt body. Um, it's kind of almost this. Um, resinous stickiness with the pine and then layered on top of that so it just keeps on coming in these different layers of these hops where cause all those hops in you know, some are used for bittering, some are used, some have been used for flavouring they've got no website, that's where I've got that information from it tells you what's used when, it's got the malt bill as well so you know, it's got all that information on there mm. wow, this is fantastic I was saying, this is exactly the sort of beer that I want to be drinking right now I have massive cravings for this the fruitiness, the juiciness and UK brewers just aren't getting out these 7% beers. I think it's a lot to do with the pub trade. A lot of people in pubs, even me, if I go to a pub and I see a 7% beer, I shy away from it, I'm wary of it. Because there is such a, there's kind of this stigma in the UK where you go to the pub and you drink a pint. Whereas in the US, if you see a 7% beer, you don't go and have a pint of it. You know, it's just not the done thing. So I, mean, I guess it's a, a, a mentality thing more than anything else. But, you know, this is what I want. This and 4% beers that are super hoppy, Super light and just you know real thirst quenchers. You can drink loads and loads of them, but they're really hoppy. You know that's for me. I think that's they're the sort of beers I'm loving to drink at the moment, especially when it's nice outside. It's been a lovely warm day today. Just want to come home and have a couple of those, and then move on to a couple of the four percent beers, and then move on to something like this. But anyway, so yeah, that's all. Just a little straight up test. If you can get hold of this, I don't think I'll be able to get any more in the UK. So this is my one bottle. So I better enjoy this. Uh, but yeah, Firestone Walker Union Jack IPA. Uh, I'm not sure where it comes from, somewhere in California, I think. But yeah, there we go. I'm sure if you're in the US, you'll be able to get hold of it a lot easier than I can. But yeah, fantastic stuff, great. Cheers.